Welcome to another round of my little Get Atimo series. Um, today, this video I dedicate to all the people who frequently ask uh, if I could do uh, another video of the Tom Scholz uh, Rockman. Uh, you know, this little toy here from uh, the 80s. This is a first uh, production year vintage uh, Tom Scholz Rockman. And uh, yeah, many people complained in my first video of this uh, Rockman that I only presented more or less um, clean sounds and that it all sounded like supermarket music or something like that. Oh well, uh, all I wanted to do was uh, open the eyes for some guys because the Tom Scholz Rockman, of course, is known for this sound. <laughs> turning on the volume of on your guitar, uh, but um, one of the very cool features of this Rockman and often overlooked and overheard is the fact that it offers a clean sound from another planet. You just switch it on, go in a mixing desk somewhere and you immediately have a wonderful clean sound. This is something which cannot be achieved so easily even with real amps, with real tube amps. You have to frickle around a lot uh, until the sound is okay. But the Tom Scholz Rockman for me is one of the best little toys, battery driven pocket toys. You just uh, turn on and you immediately have a wonderful clean sound. So today I want to satisfy the people who expected the typical <laughs> sound from the Rockman. And uh, of course this is easy. Um, my setup here uh, today is also easy. I just go with a cable directly in the Rockman and from the uh, headphone output uh, of the Rockman I go directly into the mixing desk where I have added a little bit delay for my playing pleasure while uh, the Rockman itself offers uh, a, um, a short slapback delay but I like it sometimes a little bit longer. But I have no EQ, no additional compression or something like that going on. It's just the Rockman with this little delay addition. And uh, yeah, before I bubble too much, I mean, people asked for the distorted sounds of the Rockman. I gladly offer these. I have prepared two playbacks. One is a faster one, a rockish one. And the second one is slower, a bit more jazzy, where I will also turn a little bit on the knobs uh, to seek for some variations in this Rockman distortion wall which it can easily offer, of course. Have fun!
Well, I know uh, that Tom Scholz is famous for using a Gibson Les Paul, Gibson Les Paul gold top. <laughs> um, uh, I use today a Fender Stratocaster. Uh, reason is simple, because not everybody has a Gibson Les Paul. And second, <clears throat> the Rockman sounds great with a Fender Stratocaster too. And uh, yeah, the Stratocaster I use here is equipped with the uh, same Duncan Hot Rail mini humbuckers. And uh, I can also split them, so whatever I do, I, I do many variations, uh, split it, just single coil, using the humbucker sound uh, and the typical five-way switch positions of, of, of the Fender Stratocaster, so that you get an idea how the Rockman really behaves, because it's just great. Uh, you know, the characteristics of a guitar really come through uh, playing with a Rockman. It's somewhat different uh, from fuzz pedals or something like that, which can uh, very much colorize the tone just in their own favor. While it is a good effect, um, it's not what you want when you play with a guitar with a little pocket toy like the Rockman. You want flexibility and this vintage uh, Rockman really offers this flexibility. It just has a fantastic sound. I mean, you plug it in, Back, <laughs> turn it on, and immediately, immediately you you rock. Um, by the way, I um, use the Rockman Mono. Um, of course, it is stereo, but um, I don't want to explain too long why I use it mono. Uh, it just comes more directly into your face, you know. And um, I just use two positions. It's it's the um, edge position, crunch and the dist, distortion position, which is maximum distortion, and the rest I do with the volume knob of my guitar, because the Rockman, at least this vintage Rockman, really um, behaves very, very well when you roll off the volume, just like a guitar amp. Enough of my bubbling next playback, it's a slower playback, just to show you some nuances, and I mainly use here the edge uh, position of the uh, Rockman. Have fun. <laughs> This was short, but by purpose, uh, I just wanted to give you an idea how sensitive the Rockman uh, behaves when you roll off the volume and change the pickup positions on a guitar like a Stratocaster. Uh, and you really hear the change big time, isn't it? Also, when I reduce the attack of, or raise the attack of my playing, it comes through the device. Uh, Tom Schultz really created something very special. And I also have to say, um, uh, I figured over time, over the decades, that the Rockman sounds, the vintage Rockman at least, sounds the best when the batteries are not full. So I, I use uh, used batteries, you know, I put them aside from other um, devices, even mix batteries, and I figured, so I don't know why, but this sounds better. The distortion is more smoky and the whole device is like breathing through. Uh, it is like that, try it yourself if you have one. Um, this being said, I am at the end of my crunch and distortion uh, sound demo of this vintage Tom Scholz Rockman. And um, I wish you an inspiring musical day with your guitar. Bye bye. See you next time. <laughs>